Hi, everybody. It's Monday, October 26th, 2009. This is episode 9 of the Streaming Color Studios video blog. Thanks for joining me once again this week. Sorry for the delay between episode 8 and episode 9. Things have been pretty crazy. I've been hard at work coding away like a madman and drawing away like a madman to try and get this game ready to ship. As you can see behind me, a little bit of a different location this time. I decided that the location I shot in last time was just too difficult with the lighting, so now you get to see my bookshelf. Um, this week I will be talking about gameplay, and you will see some gameplay footage, so um, that's exciting. Also, I wanted to talk a little bit first about some of the things that have happened since episode 8. First of all, big technical milestone. I got the save load system in the game and working. Uh, this turned out to be a bit of a bigger deal than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it turns out that uh, I couldn't reuse the system I built for Dapple because uh, saving a game that runs in real time with a physics system is a little bit more difficult than saving a turn-based puzzle game. So uh, that required building whole new infrastructure. Um, but the good news is, is that it seems to be working really well and the testers aren't reporting any problems with that. So it's really great to see that you can save the game when you quit and then restart it the next time you launch the game. That's really nice to see. Um, lots of little tweaks to gameplay uh, over the last week or so. Um, I've been doing a lot of tweaking the artwork. Um, I think I've got the final artwork for the monkeys in and, uh, and for the stations and, um, and lots of little tweaks to visual cues that the user gets while playing the game that really kind of uh, help them to understand what's going on better and to help them play the game more effectively. So. The game's really coming together, I think, um, re feeling really close. Uh, there's still a lot of UI work that needs to be done in the, in the front end and the menus, but the gameplay uh, is feeling pretty solid to me. The testers seem to be really enjoying it. One of the reasons I know this is that I also integrated Open Faint into the game, so you can look forward to that if you're an Open Faint fan. Um, I've got the leaderboards working in the game. I uh, haven't done the achievements yet, that's coming, but um, it's exciting to see a couple of the top players in the game uh, all battling it out for the top position in the online leaderboard. So I can see them, one of them will take the top spot, then the next one will, will surpass them and they're going higher and higher. So that's uh, exciting to see players enjoying the game at that kind of level. Um, I did promise gameplay, so I'm going to show that to you now. One thing I will note is that the music and sound effects aren't done in, uh, in the game uh, at a point where I'm ready to show them yet, so it will be silent, but I'm going to talk to you a little bit about through the game. Let's take a look at that now. This is the first level of the game, which as you can see contains two stations, a red station and a yellow station. It also contains two colors of monkeys, red monkeys and yellow monkeys. The object of the game is to dock the monkeys into the stations. You do so by touching a monkey and dragging its tractor beam. The tractor beam pulls the monkey into whatever direction you pulled the beam. When you dock a monkey at a station, you get a point. However, if you chain multiple monkeys together and dock them all in the station, you get bonus points. And that's how you get the really high scores in the game. It's by making huge chains of monkeys, then sending them into the appropriately colored station. The game ends when two monkeys that are not part of the same chain touch, just like many other line drawing games out there. I'm just going to play for a minute and you can get an idea of how the game is played. As you can see, I'm not demonstrating the music or the sound effects just yet, as they're not quite ready to be shown at this point. There you have it. That's a little sneak peek at the game. I hope you enjoy it, and stay tuned for more future episodes where I show you future levels. So there you have it. That's a little sneak peek at uh, Monkeys in Space Escape to Banana Base Alpha. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be showing a little bit more each week until launch, and then uh, you should expect to see an early gameplay video sometime within the next week that I'll be releasing on the website and on the Touch Arcade forums. Um, if you want to see screenshots of the game up close, head on over to monkeysinspace.net and you can see them uh, posted on the website there. Thanks again for watching once again this week, and I look forward to speaking with you in episode 10. Bye.